Hello friends, in this video we are going to discuss in detail about the pH of water and its impact on water chemistry. If you see the WHO guidelines, it says drinking water must be between 6.5 to 8.5. If you have ever noticed, pH of Nestle water is around 7.1 and surprisingly pH of Coca-Cola is always less than 4. So, pH of water is very, very important. We all know pH of water means power of hydrogen and in joke I seldom call it power of husband. So, if we add more and more hydrogen ions in the water, pH of water will decrease. And if we add more and more hydroxide ion, pH of water will increase. So we know the pH of water is around 0 to 14 scales. And that's why each and every water treatment vendor provide us the limit of the pH for cooling water system, for boiler water system and for chilled water system. Why? Because the water used in process industry is not 100% pure. That water contains carbonate ions, bicarbonate ions and hydroxide ions depending upon the pH. That's why we focus on the pH control to maintain optimum chemistry in our cooling water system, boiler water system or in any other water treatment related system. Let's suppose pH of water is below 4.3. At that pH there will be no hydroxide ion, there will be no carbonate ion and there will be no carbonic acid. So all these ions will be converted into carbon dioxide. That's why Coke and Pepsi can't maintain high pH. If they maintain high pH of the water, what happens? CO2 added in the Coke and Pepsi will be converted into carbonic acid and if they further increase the pH it will be converted into bicarbonate if they further increase it it will be converted into carbonate and ultimately the, these ions that CO2 will be converted into hydroxide ions so they have to bypass World Health Organization guidelines and they maintain low pH of their cold drinks. Low pH of water below 6.5 is very dangerous for cooling water system as well as for boiler system. And in many cases, if pH of boiler decreased to below 6.5, it's shut down. Why? Because at that low pH, all hydroxide ions, carbonate ions and bicarbonate ions are converted into carbonic acid. And if we further decrease that pH, all these ions are converted into CO2. In one case, it has been observed that pH of the cooling water system decreased to 2.0 and it resulted 100 ppm iron in the system and damaged the cooling water system including pipelines and the heat exchangers. And that cooling water system has to pay a lot of the price. So, understanding the limitations of the pH is very very important. So if we increase pH of the water then what happens? We convert carbon dioxide, bicarbonate, carbonic acid and carbonate ions into hydroxide ions. Means initially CO2 will be converted into carbonic acid then carbonic acid will be converted into bicarbonate then bicarbonate will be converted into carbonate and ultimately at the top most level of the pH, these all ions will be converted into hydroxide ions. We all know our water also contains calcium. Calcium is less soluble at high pH. So if we further increase the pH, ultimately we will increase chances of scaling in our cooling water system. As we discussed the importance of the pH, we have seen that maintaining optimum level of the pH is at most important. In this case, water treatment vendor is the best expert to advise what should be the pH of the cooling water system, what should be the pH of the chilled water system and what should be the pH of the boiler water system because he knows his treatment program much better than us.